And it dawned on me as a historian that I didn't know anything about the history of Las Vegas. The really good historians answered my questions about the city except one. I did not see a good answer to the question, what is it about Las Vegas that attracts ever more people? From maybe 100,000 in 1930 to over 42 million by the second decade of the 21st century. How did popular culture depict Las Vegas? How did the city of Las Vegas help shape those images? Well, I have a new book about Las Vegas called Becoming America's Playground, Las Vegas in the 1950s. And the focus of the book is how does a city successfully promote itself from being just a regional tourist destination that maybe attracts about one million people, but it's a town that's about the size of Rolla in 1950. It's a town of about 20,000. How does it go from being a town that size to one that's triple that size in population? So what drove my interest in writing this book was to figure out how that happened and also what were the consequences of that rapid growth. One of the things about my research that I've enjoyed uh, was the opportunity to take some students with me to Las Vegas to, to do research. I've taken five different undergraduate students. On the way back, I would ask them, what was it that most intrigued you about Las Vegas? And most of them said the opportunity to do research at a major research library or to present a paper for the very first time at a professional conference in Las Vegas. That's one of the things that was most gratifying for me, I think, was to take undergraduate students and have them experience what a historian does.